So I've got a three-year-old daughter, and ever since she was a kid, I spent a lot of time thinking about what books do I want to give her or show her to help foster the engineering spirit or that mindset or just kind of increase her curiosity in engineering. And I've really got three best recommendations so far. Um, I haven't used them all because my daughter is only three. Um, but here's kind of my plan. So let me show you the first book that I'm showing her right now. And that's The Way Things Work by David McCauley. This is the newest version of the book. There's a couple out there. It's been around for a while, actually. Um, this book is great because it's got a ton of great diagrams, like how reusable launchers work, um, you know, pressure gauges, all sorts of things, you know, how boats steer, submarines, clutches. There's so much in here. And what we do, or kind of the um, tradition that I've tried to um, make with my daughters every night, we read another book, kind of a more fun um, fiction book, and then we'll go through and pick a random page and I'll work through it with her and kind of talk about it. And She's only three and so I, I don't really read the stuff verbatim, but once she gets older I think that might be a, a good thing to do. And I think I really see this book kind of being a staple thing that we can go back to, you know, for maybe the first 12 years of her life. Now, the next book is Open Circuits. So uh, this is also a pretty recent book and uh, it's absolutely beautiful. I kind of see this really well suited for the high school level student um, where what it is is it's a bunch of um, cross sections of electrical components tearing them apart because I really think it's important especially for kids to tear apart old electronics or old devices and not have a fear of having to put them together um, not have that anxiety but just tear them apart just to see what's inside and um, kind of get curious and I think this allows them to go to the next level where they can actually see what's inside these components that they're seeing on the circuit boards or devices that they're tearing apart so I think this is a great, great book, um, especially for that high school level student. And then the last one, maybe in late high school, is uh, this Forrest Mims book. He's actually got a couple of them. This one's Electronic Formulas, Symbols, and Circuits. I know I got this sometime in undergrad and I found it to be very useful. Um, the reason why I think this is really cool is recommends a lot of circuits like you know cl classic sirens and oscillators and noise generators where or logic gates right where you can just get these components and have them experiment you don't really have to explain the theory of course there is a section on theory and the way they work um and you know how to read schematics and things like that but just encouraging them um, or like a troubleshooting tree there's all sorts of good information for a budding engineer just to kind of um, experiment, not have to know the theory, but just try and build things. Because my philosophy is always um, experiment first, then explain, right? So at, at this stage in a kid's life, right, when they're um, around high school, I think that they should be um, just really focusing on the experimenting and getting more of an intuitive understanding for the ways things work. So that's the third book that I would recommend. And then I have a bonus, right? And this is something that I found for myself is incredibly, incredibly useful. And, and so I, that's why I'm recommending it at this point. So this fourth book is the book that I recommend after they become an engineer, um, or specifically, right, I'm an electrical engineer, and so I think about electrical engineering. Um, I've got, you can see over there, right, I spent a bunch of money on books um, for classes, and that's all fine, and I learned a lot from them. Um, but really, I feel like it could be summed up into this book right here, Practical Electronics for Inventors. I think there's a fourth edition now. Um, this is by Paul Schertz and Simon Monk. This book has everything condensed, and it is so, so useful um, for, you know, talking about op-amp oscillators. Um, really good as a really quick, concise uh, description of a lot of electrical theories but also um, just circuits that are readily available, like a current to voltage converter. There it is, it's ready to go. Um, I find this book 
absolutely indispensable. Um, and anytime I have an electrical question, this is usually the first place I check, um, even before Googling, just because this is such a well curated um, piece of information for electrical engineers. Um, so hopefully you uh, you find these books useful and. Even though I'm recommending them for kids, uh, I personally, as a 30-year-old, still really like looking at them. Um, there's so much useful information, uh, especially the way things work, right? This book, I love flipping through it just to look at the diagrams. Absolutely beautiful, um, but all of them are still useful. So I recommend that you give them a look.